Hello everyone. I'm gonna put this back and make sure you all can see it. How y'all doing today? We have a lot of great things in stock here at the PPG store, especially for the Christmas holiday. Let's see here. Just want to make sure that I can see. All right. So I just want to make sure I can see if you all decide to post anything. So let me get y'all caught up. Okay. Well, uh, Facebook has an algorithm and basically what's going on is the algorithm is going through and any type of content that you may have posted, a lot of times it's starting to get flagged. So my page was flagged because I had some content that I posted in 2012 and it was basically asking me some information about threesomes and all of this kind of stuff. And I was just basically letting them know that if you're interested in getting into the lifestyle, this is normally the way people go about getting into the lifestyle well facebook said that i was soliciting and we all know that i you know wouldn't soliciting because that ain't what i do i educate but anyway um so if you're trying to reach me this is going to be the best page to reach me on even though all of the content is going to get shared to all of the other platforms but i just want to make sure that y'all know about all these great stocking stuff that we got um all of this that you see i have the glasses Let's see, the mom and dad glasses. I have the king and queen glasses. And then we have all of this. This is, um, you're getting socks and a sex toy. So this one has a vibrator. This one is, let's jingle those balls. This one has a sleeve, which is used to jack him off with. Mm -hmm. So this will be, you will give this to a male, right? And then we have this one, um, this holiday, add a little kink. This one has the blindfold and the sash to tie the person up with. So all of these are actually $12.99 here at the PPG store. And these uh, glass sets are two for 10, meaning that when you buy the king and the queen, you get them $5 a piece. So, but you have to buy the set in order to, um, to be able to take advantage of that two for 10. So let's talk about jingling those balls. Are y'all ready? I hope y'all are ready. And if you are in the Facebook group, make sure you go to the announcements to take part in today's challenge. I know a whole bunch of men are smiling today at work, ready to get off because they just like this. I she that y'all got them feeling special today. That's all I can say. Y'all got them feeling special today. If you did the challenge like Amber told you to, because Amber is posting on my behalf. If you did the challenge like Amber told you to, your man's smiling. He at the job trying to get off. He's smiling, for real. If you have not um, joined my Facebook group and you're a woman, bitch, you're missing out, okay? You're missing out, and I know your man is, is at the job looking at the other men, trying to figure out why these motherfuckers are all happy today. That's because this woman ain't done sent them the message that these men and women have sent them. You need to get on board, okay? All right. So with this sleeve, what you want to do is you want to lube it up really good. I want to make sure you can see it. I don't know. It looks like the light is, is so... Yeah, there we go. I think you can see it better. So it's a sleeve with texture, okay? Some people call them pocket pussies. I wouldn't call this... The reason I wouldn't consider this one to be like a pocket pussy is because most times pocket pussy has the female anatomy. And when they're entering it, it actually looks like it's going into the vagina. Whereas this one is just a sleeve with texture, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to lube it up. Lube your man up, his male member. Get his dick right, lube it up. And you're going to take this and you're going to drip some lube in the inside of this as well, Okay. And I don't really be like gonna open up everything. I'm gonna open this on up. You see, it's it, this stuff come real cute. You ain't gonna beat this for no gift for no $12.99. See, it's, it got more shit and more shit and more shit and more shit. Alright. So, oh yeah, this is nice. So this is what it looks like. 
you're going to, you see it got a hole in it. You're going to put lube all in this side, all in this side. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide this down on the male member. Now you see it is perfect for your hand, right? So that means when you stroking this dick up and down, now you can suck the head of it because this dick come out on the other end right here. Okay. So that's what makes this so nice. And you not, and let me tell you something, because pocket pussies, they normally be $29.99. All right. This little gift here for the holidays is $12.99. So you know this is a damn good deal. You can't beat this this deal. You just can't beat it, you know. So don't come up in here talking about after Christmas looking for the $12.99 because it ain't going to exist, okay. This is for the holidays. Now, another thing that I like about these little stocking stuffers is because they got the lid ribbon so where you can actually hang these on the trees y'all know how y'all go to adult christmas parties some of y'all you know y'all get out there and y'all actually you know exchange gifts with each other your, your people your family your friends your social club people whatever you can actually just hang this on the tree everybody gonna be trying to figure out who this gift for because this is gonna be the most interesting gift at the party okay or somebody else gonna be trying to figure out who this one for because this say a sex toy in there but another thing that I like about these are they're kind of kid friendly in a way, meaning that if you decide to hang these on the tree, you don't have to worry about them seeing what's in the inside because the content is on the back of it. But when you're hanging it, you can hang it to where it's, you know, even if mama passed by the tree, she won't be offended, okay? Even mama won't get hot and bothered from seeing what you got there. But I just wanted to do this video to let you all know what we have in stock because I want you know I like to have content fixed on YouTube because I have people that shop from all over the country on the website and a lot of times they wait for me to post stuff on YouTube to know exactly what I've added to the website so with that being said these three items will be added to the website the glasses will not be added to the website only because the amount of money that it's gonna take for me to ship them to keep them from breaking to get to you is just not even cost effective so, these three items, the tie you up, the jingle those balls, and you getting a sex toy for Christmas, all of these are $12.99 here at the PPG store. I got a late start today. I had a really, really, really um, great family day yesterday, and I got fucked so good last night, and to the point I, I woke up this morning just smelling like straight up cum, y'all. I kid you not. I had to tell my husband. I was like, I got to get my ass in the tub because it just looked like I had too much fun. I could smell you all over me. And I was we was laughing about it because a lot of times when you get to talking about adult content like that, and you know, me basically saying that I could I could smell like I done had some great sex. Sometimes people be like, ooh, what that mean? You stink. No, bitch, it don't mean you stink. It means that we humans and our body did what it was supposed to do and it produced the type of fluids that it was supposed to produce and that shit got all over us and we fucked each other until we passed out and we woke up the next day and we smelled like cum buckets. That's what it meant. Okay? So I got a late start today um, and I'm just starting to move around. That's why this video is coming to you so late today because yeah. But again, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube, please do so. If you have not registered on my website, please do so. My website is www.bppgstore.com. The website never closes. So you don't have to ask me if I ship nationwide. The website, the, it ships nationwide, international as well. Okay, wherever you are, I can ship it to you. All right. Um, let me put the website on here, www.bppgstore.com. All right, I made sure it's on there. And I think that's going to pretty much wrap this up today because, you know, I don't go into too much um, on this regular Facebook platform because I have um, men and women on here. And a lot of times I like to be able to teach the women. And I don't mind teaching the men either, but I feel like I can, I'm more, more effective when I teach your woman, okay, because then she knows what to do to please you. All right. Um, so, ladies, I will be able to start posting in my group again on January the 2nd. But up until then, Amber and Joy and Marshall will be posting on my behalf. 
I will still provide content. It's just that they will be the ones doing the posting for me. So when you see it up in the announcements, no, hey, that's what Sharon did. That's what that's Sharon speaking. All right. So now that we got this out the way, let's talk about bachelor parties and bachelor reporters and etiquette. We all know when you go to a bachelor party or a bachelor reporter, you most times you expect to see entertainers, okay? When a person books entertainment for a bachelor, a bachelor reporter, a lot of times they have a budget that has been set aside for entertainment. Now, everybody's budget ain't the same. A lot of times, you know, when you want some really good quality entertainment, entertainers or entertainment, sometimes you're going to spend $250 to $350 per person, okay? Most people be like, man, why am I going to spend $250 to $350 per person when I could just get a group of these women to show up for no upfront and I could take that $250 to $350 and have that to be able to tip them. Because a lot of times when entertainers come, even though they got that upfront money of $250 to $350, they still expect you to tip them. So when I saw the bachelor party, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary that goes on at a bachelor party. And a lot of times I see women and they love to put themselves up against other women. Okay? But I just want to let you know that men like ratchets too. I, I really have to let you know that. And not saying that them women was just ratchet or whatever. They was working and doing their thing. But a lot of times women, we like to be all prissy and put ourselves up against another woman. And what you got to understand is when you're dealing with alcohol and you're dealing with people in the room taking off their clothes, it don't matter what the fuck you look like. The only thing everybody care about in their room is having a good time in their room. Okay? So I just saw a lot of women just, you know, coming down hard on the entertainers because they may not have the look of entertainers. But you got to understand them people got entertainers in their budget. Okay? And it looks like they was having a really good time at the party. And they didn't care about how she looked or what her weave looked like or if her wig was on point. She was bending over, shaking it, and he was smacking that ass and dripping a couple of dollars here and there the other. And everybody was having a good time. But the reason I found out about the video is because she purchased the butt plug from the PPG store. So if you're watching the video, make sure you fast forward all the way to that part where that butt plug was lighting up and blinging. And y'all bitches, they had so much to say. Y'all come to the PPG store and y'all get y'all one. Stick it up in your ass and put on a light show for your mind. That's what I need you to do. Okay? All right. I need y'all to be blessed. Enjoy your day. I'm going to try to get my ass up in the morning and come here and get this video done in the morning. Because I'm supposed to be talking about synthetic partners this week. And we got a lot of different versions of synthetic partners because a lot of y'all in relationships and the real you ain't a part of the relationship. It's so unfortunate, but a lot of y'all in relationships and you might as well go out there and buy one of them uh, sex dolls, one of them dummies for what y'all doing in y'all relationships because the real you ain't even showing up. See, if the real you showed up in your relationship, you would be a lot happier. For real. If you could be yourself in a relationship and say the things that you really want to say and do the things that you really want to do and be with as many people as you want to be with, whether they male or female or transgender or whatever, you would be a much happier person if you would just bring your authentic self to the relationship. So this week I will be talking about synthetic partners because I thought the story uh, with Camilla, I think that was her name. Um, and they don't like to use the term sex dolls because they say it's kind of offensive. And I'm trying to keep up with the terminology too because, you know, they will rather synthetic partner. Um, these, this couple went out and got them a synthetic partner because they was dealing with real human beings and that shit just wasn't working out with them. So they went and bought them somebody they could deal with them. I thought the story was real interesting, so I will be talking about that tomorrow. Okay. You all be blessed. And again, make sure y'all come check out these stocking stuffers. These are great, great, great gift ideas. <sighs> I think that is about it. And um, like I said, if you have not uh, did the challenge for the day in the group, you need to go into the announcements and do that challenge. Let's see. All right. That's going to that's gonna wrap it up for me, y'all. Ha, 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 ha.